Professor Macmillan has a long-standing relationship with St. Anthony's. She was a student at the college during the early 1970s, producing a doctoral thesis on the British in India. She returned as a senior associate member in 1993 and was elected to an honorary fellowship in 2003. The 93-year-old leader is virtually powerless and has been deserted by most of his allies since the military seized power last week. Many protesters were celebrating the army's role in ending his more than 30-year grip on power. The rally is supported by the army and members of the ruling Zainu PF party, who have also called on Mr. Mugabe to resign. Our bodies are made up of least 37 trillion cells, and scientists are teaming up around the world to map every single one of them. A new project hopes to discover what each of these cells do. And the plan is to put the information in an online database that any scientist can use. Children's health is determined by the interaction of a multitude of influences, reflecting complex processes. We divide these influences into biological, behavioral, and environmental, physical and social, even though our model of children's health views their effects as highly intertwined and difficult to isolate. The role and effect of biological, behavioral, and environmental influences change as children grow. Researchers in the US and UK have used psychological profiles based on a single Facebook like to target ads. In campaigns that reached more than 3 million people, they found that matching ads to people whose Facebook like indicated high or low levels of extroversion and openness led to around 40% more clicks. The aim of our research was to explore how moving home at a young age affected the development of preschool children. There are many different reasons why families choose to move home, some of which are positive and some less so. Over a period of 10 years our research team has investigated whether the conditions surrounding moving home The big business lobby group, the Business Council of Australia, is relentless in prosecuting its case that a company tax rate of 30% is uncompetitive. Unless that uncompetitive tax rate is cut, according to the BCA, Australia won't be able to attract the investment needed to grow the economy, increase productivity and boost jobs. There is a strong argument that fish activity is also related to moon and sun activity in addition to any influence the tides may have. While this is very prevalent at spawning times for various species, it also has a strong correlation to feeding times. These two factors, feeding and breeding, are probably the biggest single influence in anglers' success or failure. It is the latest development in a time revolution that has gripped the nation over the past half century. In the 1950s, it was widely believed that the first Australians had arrived on this continent only a few thousand years earlier. They were regarded as primitive, a fossilized stage in human evolution, but not necessarily ancient. Human experiences are reduced to numbers. And aside from being a long time ago, they are hard to grasp imaginatively. It is all too easy to approach this history, as one might read the Guinness Book of Records, to search the vast expanse of time for easily identifiable firsts, the earliest sight, the oldest tool, the most extreme conditions. There is a similar tendency today to homogenize the deep history of the first Australians. The dynamic natural and cultural history of Australia is too often obscured by tropes of timelessness. Tourism campaigns continue to tell us that this is the land of the never-never, the home of ancient traditions and one of the world's oldest living groups. Advances in digital technology are changing the world of work. It has been estimated more than 40% of human workers will be replaced by robots. 
This probably overstates the scale of displacement, but developments in the fields of artificial intelligence and machine learning will affect all sectors of the economy. Biodiversity is crucial for the production of a range of marketed and non-marketed ecosystem goods and services. The rural poor often depend on biodiversity for a wide range of natural resources and ecosystem services essential for their well-being and are therefore potentially affected by its degradation. Young infants begin to learn from their immediate surroundings and daily experiences. The sense of well-being and emotional security conveyed by a loving and skilled caregiver creates a readiness for other experiences. Before infants can creep and crawl, caregivers should provide a variety of sensory experiences and encourage movement and playfulness. Americans overall are working less and sleeping more than they were a decade ago. Trends that point to an aging population and fewer people in the workforce, but among those who have a job, people are working more, and in general, men spend more time than women on leisure activities, while women sleep about a half hour more each day. Americans overall are sleeping more, possibly because of the aging population, but it's the youngest group surveyed, those between 15 and 24 years old, who sleep the most. The group spends 10 hours and 24 minutes on sleep and other personal care. Adults who are 65 and older spend just under 10 hours on those activities. Australia is at growing risk of a home price crash because of the high number of mum and dad property investors, inflated prices, record household debt, and an economy that appears to be losing momentum. A new report says. Watermark predicts national home prices are likely to peak in the first half of next year, with prices in Sydney, Perth, and Darwin. Britain and the EU have reached agreement on a Brexit divorce bill, which is likely to finally total about 50 billion euros, 78 billion dollars. British newspapers are reporting, potentially heralding a breakthrough in the negotiations. A deal on the bill would signal London and Brussels are moving much closer to an agreement to advance to a new phase in their negotiations. In the early years of piano construction, keys were commonly made from sugar pine. Today, they are usually made of spruce or basswood. Spruce is typically used in high-quality pianos. Black keys were traditionally made of ebony. And the white keys were covered with strips of ivory. However, since ivory-yielding species are now endangered and protected by treaty, makers use plastics almost exclusively. Africa, a continent endowed with immense natural and human resources as well as great cultural, ecological, and economic diversity, remains underdeveloped. Most African nations suffer from military dictatorships, corruption, civil unrest and war, underdevelopment and deep poverty. The majority of the countries classified by the UN as least developed are in Africa. Developing and emerging economies face thus a twofold energy challenge in the 21st century, meeting the needs of billions of people who still lack access to basic Modern energy services, while simultaneously participating in a global transition to clean, low-carbon energy systems. Veterinary medicine is the branch of medicine that deals with the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of disease, disorder, and injury in non-human animals. The scope of veterinary medicine is wide, covering all animal species, both domesticated and wild. With a wide range of conditions which can affect different species, your financial information, such as what you spend and where, and how often you go into debt, is private. It is information only available to you and your bank. It has been like that for years, but all that is about to change. Your financial data is valuable. For example. A loan provider would be keen to know exactly when you go into the red each month.
Australia's property market has reached a turning point, with smaller cities taking more of a front row seat in the growth story. Melbourne dwelling values, on average, rose 0.5% last month to take third place. Hobart was the best performing housing market by far, with prices up by 3.3% in the last three months, and 11.5% over the last year. Any of Hong Kong's skyscrapers are built using bamboo scaffolding. Bamboo is a fast-growing plant and therefore much more environmentally friendly, it also offers more flexibility than other materials like steel. While bamboo scaffolding has become a thing of the past in the rest of the world, the ancient technique is still going strong in the city. However, a dull yellow can bring on feelings of fear. While it is considered an optimistic color, people lose their tempers more often in yellow rooms, and babies will cry more. It is the most difficult color for the eye to take in, so it can be overpowering if overused. Yellow enhances concentration, hence its use for legal pads. It also speeds metabolism. Knowing what materials can and can't be recycled is confusing, but there's a few options you can investigate if you want to keep your Christmas waste to a minimum. The first thing you need to know is that Christmas lights should never go in your general waste bin. Buying decorations that last longer, that you can reuse from year to year. A child's biology determines how physiological processes unfold, and how organ systems adapt to outside influences. Biological response patterns, including responses to stress, novel situations, and primary relationships, can directly and indirectly influence other biological, cognitive, learning, and behavioral processes. Time is running out to prevent a global environmental collapse, that's the stark warning 15,364 of the world's leading climate scientists have sent out. Scientists from 180 countries, many in the developing world, put their names to the journal article published yesterday in Bioscience, which also predicted temperature rises and unpredictable weather patterns that would cause widespread misery. The pay gap between men and women is narrowing, but the blokes club still rules when it comes to striking juicier salary deals, according to the latest gender equality scorecard out today. Men still out-earn women in every industry, across all occupations. The biggest gender pay gap in financial and insurance services, at 31.9%. Scientists acknowledge that gene editing procedures carry potential risks, but there is huge potential too for better treatments for patients in future. Probably most diseases, if not all, are caused by a genetic defect, so just a very small change in our DNA can be the difference between living a healthy normal life, or one that's burdened with disease, Dr. Howden said. Researchers have identified a series of robust reefs that may act as sources to replenish areas of the Great Barrier Reef, GBR, damaged by severe disturbances such as bleaching events and cyclones. The robust source reefs typically lie on the outer shelf fringes of the GBR, where ocean currents push deeper, cooler water toward the surface, reducing the severity of heat stress. Charles and Ray Eames are most famous for their iconic chairs, but this was merely one facet of their work. They were graphic and textile designers, architects and filmmakers. If they confined their efforts to just one of these genres, we'd still be talking about them today. Yet they spread their talents far and wide, becoming two of the greatest designers of the 20th century. Messaging is also embedded in multiplayer games used by older children, such as Minecraft. There are both challenges and benefits associated with kids connecting with others via games and apps, but the functionality is not going to go away. Learning how to navigate social media together is now a key feature of childhood and parenting.
Facebook is trialing a new Messenger Kids app in the United States. The standalone app is aimed at under-13s, who aren't currently eligible for a normal Facebook account. Parents are responsible for setting up the account and approving any contacts their children add. Kids can then use the app to video chat, both one-on-one or in a group, and send photos, videos and text messages. The world's biggest lithium-ion battery has been launched in South Australia, with Premier declaring it an example of SA leading the world. Unexpectedly hot conditions across South Australia and Victoria on Thursday afternoon meant power was in short supply in both states. While the battery proved its worth on the final day of spring, Many of us have enormously high expectations when it comes to holiday season. We long to relive those perfect Christmases past. The ones where presents were piled higher than the tree, there were lollies everywhere, adults were laughing, kids playing cricket and everyone was having fun. As adults we spend weeks, if not months, buying gifts, planning food, and putting up decorations. From board games to rubber duckies, these playthings are becoming connected to the internet via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and apps. Depending on its capabilities, the toy could be recording voice messages, internet history and location data. Smart toys are popular gifts, but an internet connection can turn a cuddly teddy bear into something creepier. An internet-connected soft toy that let adults and kids remotely record messages. You're no doubt aware of the placebo effect, the medication that can make you feel better, even though it doesn't really do anything. The word placebo has its origins in the Latin for to please. Over the years it has come to be used as the name for an inert or simulated medical therapy, such as a sugar pill, saline injection or sham procedure. A Perth medical researcher has won the prestigious Flory Medal for her pioneering work with dogs to help tackle macular degeneration, a leading cause of blindness. There are 112,000 people in Australia who have age-related wet macular degeneration, with 8,000 new cases diagnosed every year. While the current treatment involves several eye injections per year, the gene therapy involves only one injection. Earth's climate is naturally dynamic, but human activity is affecting it. Since the Industrial Revolution, we've gotten most of our energy from fossil fuels. Burning them releases gases, primarily carbon dioxide. In the past 100 years, concentrations of this greenhouse gas have grown faster and higher than at any time in the past 850,000 years, causing global average temperatures to rise. Few WTO observers would share that view, as the U.S. has been such a key and leading player throughout the WTO's history and indeed in the system that preceded it dating back to the late 1940s. On the legal cases, some analysis found the U.S. wins about 90% when it's the complainant and loses about the same percentage when it's complained against. The digital currency Bitcoin is rallying at phenomenal speed, leaving many high and others dry markets around the world. The Central Bank of China has shut down Bitcoin exchanges in the country. Indonesia and Bangladesh have banned its use as a payment tool. In India the government has made it clear that, while it doesn't recognize Bitcoin as legal tender like paper money, It's a conversation most of us have had in person, but these days it's happening increasingly on social media. The chat could take place on Facebook's messenger service and finish with a simple click to transfer the cash between friends. The payment service has just been launched in the UK, although the country is already some way behind China. New South Wales will close a loophole allowing employers to sack a woman who knew she was pregnant when hired. The law had allowed employers to fire women who knew, or should have known, they were pregnant when they applied for a job. 
It's unacceptable for a woman to be overlooked for a role because she's pregnant, or dismissed from a new position once it becomes apparent she's carrying a child. Brutal winds that fueled Southern California's firestorm finally began to ease Saturday, giving residents and firefighters hope for respite as the destructive toll of multiple blazes came into focus. After a five-day siege, some Californians were finally able to return home to inspect the damage wrought by the wildfires, which forced hundreds of thousands of people to flee. Prime Minister Turnbull has doubled down on his criticism of Beijing interfering in domestic politics, while insisting the communist leadership will respect his tough talk. A new offense of intentional foreign interference will make it a crime for a person to engage in conduct on behalf of a foreign principle that will influence a political or governmental process, and is either covert or involves deception. North Korea blamed U.S. nuclear blackmail for soaring tensions over its weapons program in rare meetings with a senior U.N. official, but agreed to regular communication with the organization, state media. China, which is Pyongyang's military ally, has called on the United States to freeze military drills and North Korea to hold weapons tests to calm tensions. Delta waves were first identified and described in the early 1900s, after the invention of the electroencephalogram, allowed researchers to look at brain activity during sleep. During sleep, the brain cycles through a number of different stages differentiated from each other, by the brain activity that occurs during each stage. Aside from being an essential ingredient in Romanian cuisine, Garlic has long been thought of as a magical plant. Garlic is believed to keep you safe against evil spirits. A Romanian Halloween of sorts, residents of rural areas both eat garlic and smear it on the corners of windows and doors to protect themselves. Rows of garlic can be seen hanging with the same purpose. <laughs>